does genital warts or HPV go away on its own? Hi, I'm Dr. Arani. I'm former instructor and assistant clinical professor of Loma Linda University School of Medicine. I have been in exclusive HPV practice for almost 20 years, and I have evaluated tens of thousands of patients to this state from all over the world, and I would share my clinical experience to answer these very common questions. In recent study, genital HPV prevalence among adults age 18 to 59 was 42.5% in total population, 45.2% among men, 39.9% among women. High-risk genital HPV prevalence was 22.7% in the total population, 25.1% among men, and 20.4% among women. And low-risk HPV prevalence is about 20 to 40 percent among populations. What does this mean? It means if we get a random person from the street and test him or her, there is about a 42 percent chance that individual is HPV positive. This is when we have a confusion and misunderstanding by patients and even treating physicians that I always speak to, that if those 42 percent HPV positive population should be worried I should say, the only be worry if HPV has caused a problem for them. That is why we don't go out and randomly test people for HPV or HPV is not part of the routine STD testing panel. We usually do HPV testing if patient has HPV related symptoms because some of these asymptomatic HPV might go away and being harmless but if HPV already has caused problems, then that's the total different ballgame. Then you can not rely on argument that HPV will resolve on its own and give patient false hope and put them at risk. If HPV has remained in body and caused consequences, such as abnormal pap smear, genital warts, anal warts, oral lesions, precancerous growth or cancer, then all of them need to be treated and follow up closely. Patients should not start taking vitamins and supplements and wait around in hope that this lesion might fall off on its own and HP would resolve. CDC, which is a reliable source, says if left untreated, genital warts might go away, stay the same, or increase in size or number. That is true, in fact, with any other medical problems. For example, diabetes, which might get better or become worse and complicated. We don't wait and sit around on diabetes and hope that might go away on its own. We make changes in lifestyle or take medicine. CDC never mentions that you wait on HPV-related growth untreated. On the other hand, insist of individual of not having sex till get treatment. I have seen numerous patients delay treatment and got complication because they have read somewhere advising them not to worry and they would get well on their own, as all of us love to hear that. In summary, majority of people have manifestation of HPV and seek help, need to get treated, and not delaying it in hope of magical recovery. In other words, HPV might go away on its own, but if HPV has already caused cancer, moderate to advanced precancerous tissue, or benign tumor or genital or anal warts will unlikely to recover on its own. The chance is high for HPV growth to get worse or complicated by completely transforming normal tissue beyond optimal repairability. That patient must live with that consequence for the rest of their lives. Many of cases which could have been treated easily at initial stage by primary care.